Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. My name is Kristen, and I don't know very many of you yet. And that's probably because about a year ago at this time, I was managing a brand at Intel Corporation, working in the tech sector, not thinking as much as I am today about all of this. I didn't know about Unrig. But I was on a journey, and that journey led me to June of last year. And by that time, I had decided that what I needed to do on June 1st was walk in and say, I have to quit. I have to go work on democracy. <laughs> and so here I am. So I hope to know a lot more of you before the weekend's out. Um, I haven't strayed that far from tech, as you'll learn, because today I want to talk to you about Project Mismatch, uh, which is a joint project of all sides, living room conversations, and Bridge the Divide. And we are three more organizations in this space that Lynn was just talking about. And Better Angels is just a phenomenal organization with a great methodology. So Lynn, great talk. Thanks. So we're all here in Nashville because we know we need to fix democracy. But to fix democracy, we also need to know how to bridge, not only to unrig, but to bridge, to connect with others, to forge the broadest alliances we can, and to make common cause or seek common ground, even with people who have a different view of the world than we do. But this is very, very difficult to do at a time when we feel more divided than ever, divided politically into our red and blue camps, divided ideologically into a whole host of competing and diverse secular and religious worldviews, divided economically into haves and haves nots. And, and maybe even especially divided geographically, aided by economic disparity and abetted by our own tribal instincts, we are now so geographically sorted as a country and as our maps show us that it's increasingly difficult to find someone sitting next to you in your neighborhood, your job, your school, wherever it is, who does have a distinctly different view of life here in the United States. And that's why I'm so excited to talk to you today about Mismatch, a platform to connect people across distance and divides. What is Mismatch? It's a powerful new platform that is enabling people to connect across distance and divides to engage in respectful, face-to-face, real-time conversations using video conferencing, as you'll see. Mismatch is about listening, empathy, understanding, tolerance, all the things Lynn was just talking about. It's about bridging distance and divides to find common ground, build those alliances. But just as importantly, mismatch is also about solving the problems that make it so difficult to find and have these kinds of conversations. Problems like, how do I go find these people? How, where do I go find my other? How do I get matched with people into a diverse conversation? Once we do, how do we um, schedule time practically speaking, to meet face to face. Once we meet, how do we build rapport? And from there, how do we know we have a constructive and, and purposeful and respectful conversation with one another? How do we capture all of that in learnings? And then finally, how do we scale this? How do we scale this? Because we all know there's not a lot of time. So let's take just a 30 second tour of the platform, what we've built. And uh, this is mismatch. I want to talk about how it works and addresses some of those problems. So mismatch comes with, I keep wanting to look back, but it's not behind me, is it? It comes with built-in sign-up, scheduling, and matching capabilities to help you find one-on-one -on -one or small group forums in which you wish to engage with people to bring a diverse set of views together. A simple URL brings you to a real-time conversation. There's a built-in conversation guide that takes you through rounds of discussion to build rapport, to listen and share, and to reflect on the conversation you've just had. Some of you will recognize this as the time-tested methodology of living room conversations, our partner in this project. Finally, we have a built-in survey tool enabling you to capture outcomes and impressions from the conversation. So here's how it works. We are establishing rapport here in this small group conversation. Here's how it works. Among Adam, Clara, and myself, so the rapport building question here is, what would your best friend say about you? Adam is apparently hardworking. Clara, she's the life of the party. And me there in the corner. Well, I don't have any friends, 
So I'm hoping Mismatch can solve that for me. But you can get the idea of how the, the platform facilitates uh, a circle of discussion. It can be one-on-one, -on -one, it can be small group, and how you're eased through a very guided conversation that has a purposeful beginning, middle, and end. Conversations could be about free speech, could be about voting, could be about fake news. Uh, it's a very customizable platform. So if the passion that ignites your unrigging heart is rank choice voting or redistricting or campaign finance reform, that's the conversation you can have and facilitate on this platform. Now, with this pilot of mismatch, our first use case is actually schools because we believe it's so important to start and model this behavior early. And in fact, we're launching a pilot of this technology in April and May in middle and high schools, and we're matching schools across the country. Um, deep red, deep blue, north and south, um, east, east and west, all over the country, and very intentionally matching those classrooms. So we're very excited, and in fact, our first two conversations happened during the National Week of Conversation, which is April 5th to the 13th, and if you don't already know about NWOC, I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, but from there, we intend to make this available not only to schools, but to individuals and other civic groups and organizations as well. We happen to already know that um, a platform like Mismatch can deliver value in schools through a pilot we conducted last year, a more manual pilot. We didn't have the platform built, but by engaging students in these kinds of remote conversations, we found that 92% cited great appreciation for other perspectives after just one conversation and 99% of these students said they found the experience somewhat or extremely valuable. So we would love to hear from you. We're looking for partners to help us pilot test and launch this platform. Uh, John Gable, the CEO of All Sides is here. I'm here. Claire and Joan are part of this project, so reach out to us. I've got handouts and cards here. Thanks so much. Thank you.